Hey everyone, Bradley Jack Design here with a design breakdown. For this breakdown, I'm gonna show you the Kemba Walker design for my 365 day project. I had a lot of people request and wanna know how I made this design, so I'm literally gonna go through and pretty much show you how I did everything with the design. So to start off, here's the background. So I have this background here. I'm gonna get rid of everything on here. Pretty much anytime I make anything, it starts off with some sort of arena. So I have the arena photo on here. I threw a gradient map over it with the colors of the hornets. So if we double click this gradient map, it'll show up here, the purple and then the blue that the hornets use. So everything starts off with the background. Um, on top of that, I added this screen layer that essentially just has these sort of beams of light. I have a brush set up that's just a long string brush that I can paint on. Um, in black since it's screen just to get rid of it and then the the teal color that the Hornets use and then I mask out a little bit more of that just to add a little more texture of lighting on there. I have a vignette file that sort of adds a little vignette around the edges. Um, I have a secondary one that I threw on there that I colored purple which then throws a sort of purple hue over the whole background. I threw the other vignette on there just to darken it up a bit and then I actually have this sort of burst um, of dust I found on Unsplash that I have behind Kemba himself, which I've adjusted the levels to to make sure that only the white is showing through. And then I've also colored it purple with a um, color overlay of purple. I then have a color lookup adjusted to it just to add a little bit of contrast to it. Uh, the color lookup itself, you can see here, is the Kodak 5205 Fuji 3510 by Adobe. Um, and I have that set to soft light at 40%. It just adds a little more um, contrast to the background. For Kemba himself, there's a lot going on here. Um, as you can see, there's layers for days that are completely unlabeled, of course, because why would you label it? It's a personal project, no big deal. So here we go, we've got this photo of Kemba that I edited. So in order to make this ball look icy or look metallic, I added a curves layer to it. And as you can see, it looks insane. So what you can do with the curves is if you just kind of draw this sort of roller coaster line, it'll give you this effect. And then you can throw a gradient map on top of it to color it whatever you want. So I use the, the teal or blue that the Hornets use, and that's what color it ends up being. I've got another gradient map that is on top of this whole image. You can see all this stuff is clipped to Kemba, Kemba himself. So these layers are essentially lighting that is going on Kemba himself. So you can see if I just turn these on, it gets gradually and gradually more blue on Kemba as if this is actually emitting light. This gradient map layer actually, if I drag this out, if you double click on the side of the layer to pull up the layer style blending options, down here you can adjust this. And if I adjust it all the way down, you can see it pretty much affects the whole image. But if I move it up, it's basically disregarding anything um, that is darker than this color. So these are the darkest blacks. If I move it over a bunch, you can see it's getting rid of anything that's darker. It's not actually changing that color too. So that's what I did with that to have the vibrant blues pop off of his skin. So we've got the lighting on here. I did this after I actually edited this, but I'll show you what I did for that. So in order to get this to start glowing, I created a levels layer and set it to screen. On all of these layer, I either put a purple or a teal color layer on top of it. Um, actually, these are all set to screen, so I made it so the color of the screen or levels was the color that I want it to be. So here's a layer of just levels around the side of his face that I turned teal just to add a little bit of lighting. And again, this is, it's mainly a bunch of tiny gradual steps that you build upon. So on top of this, I have this sort of spark layer that I have colored teal. And then on top of that, I have a levels layer. And you can see each of these layers has a different mask. Basically, I'll use a soft brush and paint back in the light. So we paint in a little bit of teal light here. We paint in a little bit of purple light here, a little more teal, a little more teal. And you can see it's starting to glow now. These are, again, are all just levels layers set to screen. And then if you put a normal layer on top of it for that color, it'll make it that color. 
On top of that, I have this sort of fiery um, sort of graphic that I like to use. I have that set to teal um, to make it teal so it matches the, the ball, the light that it's emitting. On top of that, I have another more broad levels layer that's set to teal, as you can see here. And then on top of this whole thing, I have a gradient map of the purple to blue set to hue and it's painted out so only a, certain parts of this are actually painted in so if I turn that on you can see it just sort of adds a little more purple to this area I've got another sort of uh, highlight on there that's purple and then one final bokeh effect over the whole image essentially that is purple so you can see here all of this light is emitting off of this basketball which is why these shadows or not these shadows these highlights were made I've got some other light effects on top of it as if it's emitting light itself. Um, I threw the text and logo on there. You can see it's pretty general. It's just the text, their logo, and then Kemba and his signature. Uh, the way I have his signature made is I have it set to screen. So this is what it looks like, the um, signature itself. And then I have a gradient map on top of it of black and the teal color. So the white or the, actually the black of it is teal and then the white of it is black and then I have it set to screen. So that's how it shows up. It's an easy trick to use signatures to set them or multiply or screen to get rid of the backgrounds that they're on. Um, these are pretty simple, just text and layers on that. And then I have on here three color lookups. So I have these set um, essentially just to add a little more glue to the photo. So this one I have foggy night set to soft light at 30%. Uh, what's this one? This one is teal orange plus contrast soft light to 25% I have this one here because a lot of movie producers or, or people who create movies They'll add a teal and orange contrast to the image itself to make it look a little more realistic um, I have this set to soft light 25% these are actually all Set to soft light the first two are the final one is candlelight Which is set to screen at 25% which you can see really pops out the brightness of that light so that's the file itself. Um, so you can see I've got color lookups, the text and logo, Kemba himself, and the background. Most of the designs I make are going to be this way. There's going to be a background image, a foreground image, whatever text I have on it, and then color lookups to go on top of it. I hope this video gave you a little insight into how I make some of these designs. If you want to see other design breakdowns, comment below and let me know who you want to see next. Thanks.